the volcanic island of Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai, which turns its tongue, exploded in the Pacific Ocean in 2015, and its form has been evolving since then, as it has been hit and hit by the waves. Scientists are watching the slow erosion very closely. They think they see the remains of many of those islands born in the water on the Red Planet. If that is true, it is really intriguing. On Earth, we know that whenever underwater volcanic processes are obtained, conditions that support microbial communities are often obtained. What researchers see happening in Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapali HTHH can be a kind of template to help them better understand the aquatic environment in early Mars and, by extension, if conditions could also have been favorable for the beginning of life simple. The idea was that we could use the recognition of this type of landforms as an indication of the stories, depths and longevity of the paleo camps on the Red Planet, said Dr. Jim Garvin, chief scientist of the United States Space Agency. Goddard. So, we're going to use HTHH on Earth to train us to understand Mars. Dr. Garvin and his colleagues have been reporting on their HTHH studies here at the fall meeting of the American Geophysical Union AGU the world's largest annual gathering of terrestrial and planetary scientists. The island grew out of the Hunga volcano, a 1.3 kilometers high mountain that is almost submerged in the southwestern Pacific in the Tonga Archipelago. HTHH is the name used by scientists to refer to the land mass of 200 hectares, immersed between the Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hapali existing islands the three landforms are located on the summit of an underwater volcano with a depth of 1.5 kilometers. Depth map of the box, erosional models suggest that HTHH could last from 6 to maybe 30 years. On Earth, all these conditions are found in volcanic vents at the bottom of the ocean. Microbial communities accumulate around the mineral-rich waters that spring from cracks in the hot rock. And this is one of the reasons why scientists are now assigning satellites to look for evidence of a similar activity on the Red Planet. Currently, Mars is completely dry, but it was not always like that, and if it had volcanic systems similar to HTHH or Surtsey, its remains could well be among the best places to send a rover in search of signs of preserved biology.